Well, on EA Sports, and we are inside of the very spacious Lucas Oil Stadium in downtown Indianapolis. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Indianapolis Colts. Evan McPherson has this one teed up, and we are underway here on EA Sports. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Again, it's Taylor. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. Aiden Cole, Aiden Cole. What we got, what we got? First and 10, Taylor now. And yeah, this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. On second and nine, Foles finds his big, and the ball is knocked out, and the Bengals grab it. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. And without a doubt, not the way they pictured that opening drive unfolding. No, they were making progress. They weren't exactly in high gear, but they, they were making a few yards along the way. And now that they've coughed it up, you got to go back to the sidelines and regroup a little bit. Burroughs throw here into the hands of Boyd. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. His first pass attempt of the game, Charles, and the pass rush was right there to hit him. But no fear, he delivered an accurate ball, nice catch. And you never want to see your quarterback getting hit, but it also sends a message to the rest of the team when he's able to take that shot and still deliver downfield. Showing a little toughness, and the team rallies around him. This could really help him on their drive. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. They will throw on first down with Burrow. Got a man open. It's Chase. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Here's second and a yard. We're all going to give this to Mixon. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Here we go. And from the Colts, an extra defensive back in there now on third down. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Mixon with a first down carry. Now the ball comes loose, and the Colts pick it up. And the return will stop right around the 25. 
So a rocky, rocky start on both sides offensively. Turnovers exchanged. Uh, I saw what you did there. What I do? Rocky, 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 rocky. too rocky. I, I saw that. I got it. And you know, and right now. They're carrying it around like they are wearing boxing gloves if we're going to have that kind of a reference. They've got to get it together and start playing a little bit better ball. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. A 14-yard gain for Indianapolis and also move the sticks. We're scoreless after one. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And a good stiff arm there before he's brought down on a nice little game. 40 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. In motion comes the tight end left. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones, talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. A gain of 11 that time, and a Colts first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Go, go, go! All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Up the middle, here's Taylor. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. They'll run here with Taylor. He's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Now the Bengals are going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Three tight ends up front here, third and goal. Foles going to keep it himself. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Nick Foles scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Colts post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. And he will dive into the end zone, and the two-point conversion is successful. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. The Bengals drive about to get going. Last time out, remember, they fumbled the football. That led to the touchdown. And Charles, they were in the red zone, so that's a backbreaker. they got to try to pick up the pieces here on this drive. 
Yeah, and I actually started to do the math here, so be patient with me. 12-point swing is the way I calculated because not only did they drop the ball in the red zone, they watched the opponent score a touchdown right after that. So their goal, have a drive here and try and get some of those points back. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Burrow hooking up with Higgins for a bagel first down. They'll set up to throw. This goes out wide for Nixon. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. That's the tight end Hurst with it. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to bring up second down. 12, 12, 11 MP, 11 MP, 11, 11, 11, 11. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Rodney McLeod. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Colts TD. So the Colts now bringing the offense back onto the field as they'll go for two. They'll let Taylor try and run. And he's going to go down right at the line of scrimmage. The defense left him with nowhere to go. And the try for two is denied. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. Here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. They're certainly in need of some kind of points here before the end of the half. A field goal or something being shut out right now. They can really use some momentum before they head into halftime. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. On one, ready? This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Boyd. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. down there on a pickup of 25. On one, right? Close, close, close. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. Hayden Hurst as the first half is winding down. And the Bengals are on the board here in the final seconds of the first half. And Burrow's going to look to throw for it. And he's got it for the two-point conversion. So they tack on a pair more here to narrow that deficit a bit further. So they go with a pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is, and I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in, but with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two-point period in practice now, something they never really did before. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Good, strong, explosive run that started inside. 
which means you've got to control those defensive linemen, the defensive tackles, the nose guards. Those guys have to be controlled. How about the offensive line, the job they just did? Yeah, key that A-gap usually on those runs, right? That's where it all starts because everyone wants to kind of control that area. It disrupts things from the defensive side and the offensive side. As we just saw, it opens up possibilities. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Bucs set to get the football first, and they trail here as we get started in the second half. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. 